Okay, for number 12, we'll be subtracting these two algebraic fractions, and you see that the bottoms are the same already, so let's go ahead and write them into just one big fraction. I'm not going to factor out anything yet, because the bottoms are the same already, okay? So let's put this down right here, x squared minus 14x plus 45. And now, let me put down the top right here, 5x minus 7, and you see that this is a subtraction, right? Be sure, let's put down that invisible parenthesis down, and we take the subtraction and distribute, distribute, right? So you see, negative times 4x, that's negative 4x, and then negative times negative becomes positive, and we have the 2 right here. So be sure you do this step carefully. Subtraction situation is usually trickier. And now we can just go ahead and combine terms on the top. This is 5x minus 4x. We will just have an x left. And then minus 7 plus 2, that's negative 5, right? On the bottom, we keep it as how it is. This is x squared minus 14x plus 45. And now, is there anything that we can do with this? On the top, I cannot factor out anything anymore. But on the bottom, we can go ahead and factor this as x times x. What times 12 give us? Positive 45, and together, they add up to be negative 14. Well, I need to have negative 9 and negative 5, right? Okay, now, you see that. On the top, I have x minus 5. And technically, this is, you know, with a invisible parentheses as well. And I can cancel this with that, isn't it? Because they're the same factor. So I will just seriously cancel them out right here and right here. And now the small question for you guys is that, what's on the top when I cancel the out, everything already on the top? Right here, we have a 1, okay? Because right here, technically, there's a number 1. So be sure you do have to have that 1 right here. So the answer is going to be 1 over x minus 9, okay? This is it.